Well, Stanford's a good football team. They showed it. Did a nice job. Uh, physical team and uh, took away some of the things we like, normally like to do. Thought we had a good plan to hang in there, but when you play a team like this, you got to get a lot of things going your way. Um, and uh, you got to maximize every little opportunity. When you don't do that, you minimize your opportunities to, to win. It really comes down to those things. So, uh, But David Shaw does a nice job. These guys are a classy football team. It's an honor to play them. And, but we've got to get better because our uh, schedule is going to keep getting getting after so we gotta keep getting better. Any questions? Can you talk a little bit about how you were dealing following that first quarter you got a couple turnovers early? Uh I think <laughs> we always try to stay fairly steady about things and people don't maybe always like that. Um because it sounds rather mundane. Uh but you know it's gonna be a long fight and try to not get too high and too low. You know, certain things kind of got to go your way a little bit. We had an opportunity to score the touchdown, and then it got ripped, you know, called back, and which is which is fine. That's that was a call, and, but you're going to have to maximize all those all those little things in games like this. Um, when you don't, you know, it kind of creeps away. So we knew we were in for a battle, and yeah, I, I wasn't. Uh, we're not going to win it in the first quarter by any means. So it was nice to get a few things going. Uh, it really just comes down to pitch and catch. I mean, it's, uh, we always talk to guys about making layups, and you got to make layups, and it doesn't matter who you play, and uh, we probably dropped a few more balls than we're used to dropping, and those end up having some issues there. Uh, and a couple of real time penalties as well kind of stop drives. Uh, you know, then I opted to go for it, which we got, instead of kick field goals, just because you're not going to kick field goals against these guys and win. So. He didn't get his much he got last week, that's for sure, but it was a point of emphasis. I thought Tim Keene, our line coach, and Tim Plow did a good job with the plan, and Jake did a good job getting the ball out of his hands. We knew we weren't going to hang on to it very long uh, or we'd have issues. So that was part of the game plan, getting it out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they've got a nice front. They're very, very aggressive, uh, do a nice job pressuring you, don't always have to blitz you to get guys to the quarterback. But that was certainly a point of emphasis coming in the game is keeping Jake upright. You, you know, you were doing really well right towards the end of the first half, and then you came up and changed your plan and went back to the, a little bit more of the running game, and you were doing really well with the short passing game. Why did you, why did you change Well, in the, in the RPO offense, it's, it's kind of dictated by the front. So it's not so much whether you call on the play or not. It's dictated by your numbers. It's all math and geometry. So, yeah, that's why that ended up being that way. You guys got pretty creative with some of those plays, particularly in the first quarter with jet sweeps and get the hook on out of last week against uh, San Diego. Are you kind of throwing more of those sprinkles each week? Well, again, against guys like this, you, you have to you have to do things like that. You can't just go play real football. I mean, we're not going to line up in 21 personnel and run lead ISO against these guys and expect it. We're just not. So you have to do some things that cause some eye confusion and keep people off balance a little bit and give yourself a chance that way. Um, Otherwise, it's going to be, we're not going to get into a phone booth with these guys and, and win. We're not going to. Do you think the defense got a little tired in the second quarter when you got out there? Uh, I don't know. They battled. I thought they battled the whole day. It really did. Did a nice job getting some stops uh, in the red area um, against some short fields. And But, you know, that's their, again, that's their plan. You know they're gonna they're gonna put the mouthpiece in and the headgear on and they're gonna start you know going body blow body blow body blow until you you know that's that's how they do it and they're used to doing it and they're good at it. You are a little bit awkward with the ball a little bit more this week, um, but when he does, when you're not targeting him, he's moving around the line, winning the bunches, getting out of the other way. How how helpful is it to have him for this next piece too? Uh, well, he's just so. He's so uh, versatile. He's really smart. He knows what the defense is trying to do to him and to us. And you can move him around. Like you said, he can play one, two, or three.
very easily. He's, you know, the, so it's, that's a big benefit for us because he's not locked into one spot. So you can kind of roll him around a little bit. Um, but then we got to have other guys make plays as well. I mean, I thought he caught the ball. We didn't get anything over the top or any big plays to him. And we weren't able to get some of the other guys going. But he's, he's such a great kid. He really is. He's real smart, real coachable. And he's awesome.